Every story starts with a territory, a origin, a place where we come from, our culture, people that are surrounding us, our family. So I come from Alsace, I come from Strasbourg, hence the stork, even there's also an nice, actually Estonians. And uh, Alsace is important because it was a place torn between wars between France and Germany, and this dictated a lot my, uh, my, my life, my future life. These are my children, I'm very proud of showing my children this evening. But I want, I'm, show, I'm showing them to their embarrassment because each year they would ask me when they were, when they were, when they were smaller, before they were going to school, my head teacher is asking, hey daddy, what are you doing actually in life? And uh, I, I had problems actually identifying. The same with my mother, until the day I met Nana Muscuri when she was a member of the European Parliament, the council, and my mother still asking me, how is Nana Muscuri? She, think, she thinks I work for the music industry and work for <laughs> Nana Muscuri. And the idea of this uh, uh, talk is actually to, sp to, to explain what I'm doing and try to do it in, in four, 400 seconds. So it's, indeed it's a story of a trained lawyer uh, which uh, went into policy design. And why into policy design? Because at one stage in your life, you are trying to find some kind of meanings or sense in what you are doing. And uh, the idea was, in, in this context, to find meaning in something that was closely related to, and it's come back to my origin in Strasbourg, the European Union. And I always find the European U Union uh, 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 an extraordinary project we're trying to unite, unite people from different nationalities, different backgrounds. And if, the more you travel, the more you realize how this is a great project, even if today it's uh, very much put into question. Now, my big chance was to work in the music industry a few years ago. And at the time when you were talking about cultural industries, sociologists would say, yes, yeah, it's typically product of capitalism, which uh, entertain people and make them more stupid. But I discovered something else about the cultural industries. Uh, in relation to uh, developing po uh, revolution uh, with uh, famous uh, bands. I also found out uh, that Europe was very active in the cultural sector, even if it was saying that actually European Union has no formal competence in culture, but in fact 80% of regulation affecting the artistic sector and the cultural sector is actually originating from Brussels. And uh, this is in um, a kind of midlife crisis when I was 38, I decided to create a company who would be devoted to actually represent the interests of this industry which was extremely powerful but actually marginalized in policy making and try to do this as a business in the context of the European Union. Indeed, the cultural, cultural industries and art have many more implications than simply attracting tourists or giving some work to artists. And most of the cities today recognize the economic importance of the sector in relation to education, economic product, uh, promotion, uh, uh, trade, uh, a pretty spillover. Unfortunately, the Brussels bureaucracy doesn't see culture in the same angle and uh, still marginalize in policy making this important industry. Why it is actually, in, in terms of size, as big as the information and communication technology. And so the whole, the whole context is actually to show how much this industry contributes. And the value of KEA, the society I set up, and, uh, is actually to show this impact in terms of innovation, in terms of showing that culture is not only the consequence of economic activities, but actually the cause of market development, social development, uh, uh, and so on. Uh, in my activities, we decide also to get into the Chinese market because uh, in 2008, the Chinese decide to develop a creative economy, and they very often look to Europe as an example of a very creative society uh, supporting cultural art management, cultural organization. And it's actually in China that I was given the term that I would be using later as policy designer. And policy designer is about uh, 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 proposing uh, uh, regulations that would enable or enhance the, the position of uh, artists artistic organization uh, uh, to the regulator, uh, whether in Europe, at policy level, and so on. One of the issues that the art sector has been, uh, uh, has been um, confronted with over the last year is to actually show its impact. Now there is a financial crisis, how much money, you, why would you spend money on culture, why you should spend money on health? And we did some impact assessment for most 2015 recently. Our impact also has been to try to get the sector that is very marginalized, very small, to work together and work at, in a kind of more united front in order to be able to wait on a policy development and the need of getting together uh, across uh, policy sectors to have more influence. 
Uh, obviously, working with artists is a is a key uh, uh, aspect in a, in in the work. As a uh, the, the artists have a different perception of life. They they have a way of disrupting our traditional views of thinking, and hence this traditional this extraordinary final way of uh, raising empathy, beauty, uh, happiness, as can have impact on policy making. In the same way, in the in a, in a, in showing that culture is important in terms of uh, uh, policy cohesion, social cohesion, uh, we are trying to uh, uh, highlight this uh, specificity of the uh, cultural sector in uh, in policy making. Uh, what is important is that uh, uh, you know cognitive revolution starts from 70,000 years ago when the uh, Homo sapiens uh, invented, in fact, a culture. And uh, the idea is to show that uh, uh, culture is transformative, uh, transformative to society, transformative to the European project. And in relation to uh, uh, the points I've been I've been learning or trying to to pass on, is to show that uh, this uh, transformative power uh, can have in enormous impact. On, on the economy, on social uh, level, uh, in terms of creating solidarity and empathy, es especially in the context of a uh, European project. And uh, this is uh, my last slide to do a bit of publicity on a book that we are going to publish in March to coincide with the 60th anniversary of uh, the uh, Treaty of Rome, which is to show how much culture impacted on uh, uh, policy development at EU level. I just realized that 400, 4,000 seconds is very short.